Hi, I'm Nick Calvis. We've now entered the final stages of the Royal Commission into Defence and Veteran Suicide. We have finished gathering the evidence we need to deliver our final report on Defence and Veteran Suicide, and we're now well into the drafting phase. Our final report to be delivered to the Governor General by the 9th of September this year will comprise robust findings and practical recommendations designed to address the complex issues outlined in our original terms of reference. People's lived experience of suicide and suicidality in a military context has been at the heart of everything we do. I want to thank everyone who has courageously come forward and shared their experience with us through almost 5,900 submissions, 800 private sessions, through hours of productive stakeholder and community events, or as witnesses at our 12 public hearings. This inquiry would not have been possible without you. On behalf of the nation, we say, we see you, we hear you, and we salute you. In the coming months, we will finalise our outstanding private sessions. Next month, we will release a special book honouring the powerful personal stories which have contributed to this landmark inquiry. We'll also publish a special report outlining the proposed functions and powers of a new entity we strongly believe should succeed this Royal Commission to provide independent oversight, including monitoring the implementation of our recommendations and maintain a focus on improving the suicide prevention system for defence members and veterans and defence member and veteran wellbeing. We will keep shining a light on this national crisis in the lead up to our final report and we encourage every Australian to take an active interest in the health and wellbeing of our Navy, Army and Air Force personnel and their families. At a time of global uncertainty, Australia needs a stronger, more resilient and better defence force and this Royal Commission can help achieve it.